What's up, V2 crew? This is Unknown here, and this is going to be another episode in the series. Is it killing your games? Now, today's topic is going to be on toxic communities. I guess you could just say toxicity in general. And I don't really know how this is not killing your games, but maybe someone can think of something. Maybe, maybe the entertainment value of some of this for for whatever reason, I I don't know how that would be enhancing your games, though. Maybe it helps you get through a slow work day. I, I don't know. But anyways, let's talk about a few aspects of this. Now, first off, let's talk about toxic communities. Um, now, this could be via Discord. This could be via just some online website, forum posts. There could be several things like this where it'll just be some topic that'll be directed at someone or some game or what have you or even if it's just a positive thing if the community itself or even just a couple members of the community are kind of toxic then they just completely off rails any situation, any forum post, and it just goes completely the opposite direction. Maybe someone wanted to have a conversation on how great a game is, and then it just gets turned around and warped. And then the person that posted that and wanted to have the conversation, they feel terrible. And others that would have enjoyed that conversation, they feel terrible. I just, ugh, I've experienced that happening many, many a time. So there's the positive forum post getting warped. Then also, there's just completely negative forum posts, sometimes directed at specific people. And this, not good. Not only is it bad for the person that's getting attacked, but it's bad just in general because then other people start attacking them and they become negative and they're like, oh, let's hop on the bandwagon of negativity here. Let's hop on the attack so-and-so bandwagon. And this could be also, too, related to some game. Just attack the game, attack a developer, what have you. And I've experienced this many a time as well. And it's kind of almost hard when you're not even the person starting it, but if you're someone that does like to post... Now, granted, if you're someone that just kind of sits back and reads, it's this probably not going to apply. But it influences your posts to also be kind of negative or the complete opposite where you try to defend and then you get attacked or you defend but you defend and your comments are kind of extreme as well in the other direction and then others take offense to that and ugh. there's that and then there's also that you get influenced on sorts of games that you would play now you would maybe not play certain games people are bashing because you might feel ashamed about it or f feel silly, even though they're games you like and would really enjoy. But because you see and hear all this negativity around it, you're like, eh. Or maybe you're hyped for it and then you're like, eh, I don't really care for it anymore. Let's just skip it. Let's go move on to something else. And maybe you missed out on... Game of the year for you, because you got to do you, right? Game on your own terms, that's what, I, that's what I say, and don't be influenced by others. But So there's that, they could deter you from certain games, and I guess this doesn't even just apply to forum posts, but stuff like on Twitter, stuff where people can leave comments and reply to them, discords, discord discussions... Um, other types of communities, if you know of other types of communities, maybe just on the system itself, there used to be these PS communities, almost one of the dumbest things I, I think that just did not work well that whole system, it was kind of pointless, it was just like a forum board, just like one, you couldn't even have individual forums to it.
So there's that, and then how this is affecting your games. Like I said before, it could cause you to skip out on games. And it can also just, it just puts you in a bad mood. So that when you are gaming, you're constantly thinking about, you're just in the bad mood. You're thinking about all this stuff that was going on in forums and Twitter. And you're just not able to either concentrate in the game, or you just have that in the back of your mind. You're just not enjoying yourself. And other thing that it does is it takes up your time. Because if you're in the conversation, you gotta be in the conversation. You gotta be reading the stuff that's going on so you can post intelligent comments and feedback, or maybe not intelligent is the word, but ones that make sense in the conversation. So you gotta keep up with the reading, and then you gotta keep up with the posting and the thinking, oh, what's gonna be happening? Like, what should I say here? You go back and forth on that. So yeah, it just it detracts from your time that you could be spent playing an awesome game. Or posting in some positive place about positive things and how great some games are. And sharing your experiences there. But then there's that uh, negative community, negative poster, spreading ick around the world. Causing ick to you, causing ick to your games. Anyways, guys, let me know in the comments below what your thoughts are on toxic communities. I think they're actually kind of pretty hard to avoid. I've experienced a lot of toxic communities in my in my times of the trophy hunting, especially. If there is a toxic community, I suggest that you leave it because it's just not worth it for your mental health and you could find fun and relaxation in your in your other time and your free time that you're not working not being forced to work let me know guys what your thoughts are what your experiences are and i would like to hear them and if you liked this video and you want to hear more like comment and subscribe and if you'd like to join the V2 crew, where we game on our own terms, spread positivity, be ourselves, not be influenced, not be influenced by these toxic communities, and hopefully start a positive community, I'll post some links in the description. And as always, everybody, have a good night, a good morning, enjoy your games, thanks so much for watching. Spread that positivity, game on your own terms, you do you, and be your V2.